Hello. Howdy, everyone. Yeah, I didn't mind letting that play out. <laughs> I love the song as well, so that did not bother me one bit, man. <coughs> How is everybody tonight? I'm happy to see you all. We're not scary, we're angels? Yeah, no, it doesn't sound like it. I'm sure you guys have something terrible planned. Uh, what is that spinning space cat? Alien-o chub roll? <laughs> that is cute as hell, Rue. Thank you, God's sakes. I love the song. Indeed, same name. Such a good one. Actually, fun fact, the singer came out as non-binary, too. Uh, what was... I can't remember their name. Which is really bugging the hell out of me, because they make some wonderful music. But guess what? What? I'm scared. <laughs> Yutada Hikari. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Beautiful music. Figured you wouldn't mind, and so I, I have been bitten by the craft op Craftopia? Craftopia. What is Craftopia? I don't know what Craftopia is. Somebody will have to tell me. <laughs> I'm guessing it's related to crafting, and maybe it's some sort of game. I don't know. But, like, a crafting survival game? See, I've been playing a little bit of... Hey, Rue! Thank you so much! I appreciate the resub, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're gonna live, love our gift stream, don't worry. I, I want to believe you guys, but like, you two scare me sometimes. <laughs> um, are we playing on Baby Easy, Rugrat Medium, or Reptar Tough? Tough question, man. I don't know. I think I think we're gonna have to go Reptar Tough, though, you know? Show our dominance over these uh, toddlers. <laughs> yeah, see, when you laugh like that, it doesn't help, man. Makes it a lot worse, actually. <laughs> the Play Palace 3000, the ultimate in Playland technology. Hmm. Hate to say it, son, but it doesn't look like much to me. That's because it's in its dormant state, Pops. Watch this. What the hell, man? Why didn't I get toys like that as a kid, you know? Why do PS2 games not have subtitles? Because they didn't believe in accessibility options, I guess. I don't <laughs> Angelica's just like, yeah, whatever, I don't know. I see shit like this all the time. Almost any space. You should see it when it's fully extended. Nice work, son. Uh exploded. And that tower looks That PP 3K looks really good once it's uh fully extended, you know what I mean? I've just gotta put the finishing touches on. Could you watch the oh, kids God. go to the store for duct tape and paper clips? Sure. Why, I'll just sit right here and watch them like a hawk. And before Grandpa falls asleep? Nope. Yeah. Too late. He already did. <laughs> yeah, I'm awake, Sarge. Fun fact, we just bought the entire Rugrats uh, collection on DVD the other day. Daddy's new invention. I don't know if I'm ready to play on a giant castle, Tommy. I still got problems with the slide. Hey, the ladder's gone. Look, it's Angelica. Now you remember why you hated this show because of Angelica? <laughs> don't let Noodle hear that, man. Sound very good. Uh, I think we'll go play something else. Oh, really? Then I'll just have to use these as my suspects. My lion! My wawa! Everything! Our worms! <laughs> <laughs> Not my worms! Chucky, we're gonna climb that tower and get our stuffs back. Ah, when pigs cry, Wait, when else do you make chocolate pudding? If not three in the morning. Maybe we could just wait until your daddy gets back. We got to do it, Chucky. The wawa and my lion and the stupid thing and the worm. Let's go get them. 
Let's go for the wars. I'm pretty sure the Angelica in this show thinks she's a perfect little angel in every way as well. <laughs> you know, the 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 uh, FMV there didn't look too bad. Like, seeing them in 3D is a little bit weird, but, like, it's okay as far as, like, video game shit goes, you know? Like, video game adaptations of TV shows in the early 2000s. You know what I mean? <laughs> You trying to say something, stream? No, no, no. Angelica was perfect in every way, even if she was a little bit annoying sometimes. But, <laughs> but uh, Angelica was a beautiful little baby. But uh, Angelica in the show is definitely a little shit. Like, <laughs> okay, so uh, we just watched the Rugrats movie new to a night, and I've already forgotten her name. Kim, Kimmy, is that it? Kimmy's got a, a butt bounce, apparently. Uh, she can booty blast. She's got a roll. What else does she got? That seems like pretty much it. She's also pretty freaking fast, dude. Like, this girl can run, man. I don't know if I could run this fast. The camera it works, although it's a little bit backwards. Let's go exploring, man. Who's this other Angelica? Yeah, Megan's cat. Noodle's cat, whatever. Remember, she's Chucky's stepsister, right? Yep, yep. Yep. Uh, what, what was his name? Finster. Something Finster. And uh, Kimmy's mom got married in the Rugrats Go to Paris movie. Now, I really should remember more of it. Like I said, we literally just watched it, like, what, a week ago? If that, Noodle and I did. <laughs> they said we bought the entire collection for the TV show, and then we bought the uh, pack of movies, too. Three of them, I think. The original movie, the Goes to Paris... And, uh, the one with the wild thornberries. Rugrats go wild, or whatever the hell it's called. Chaz Finster, that's it. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, I guess there's nothing else to really do in the house right now. So we'll go where we're supposed to go, I suppose. <clears throat> Can we switch between the other characters, or... Are we just stuck with Kimmy right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I don't quite understand how the switching between characters work. <laughs> it seems to be some sort of random thing. Do they all have the same abilities? Yeah, okay, it looks like they all do the same thing, so you just get to play whoever the heck you want. <clears throat> Purchase one up. Ah, oh, well, no, we don't, we don't need to order a one up. What we need to do is get up. I guess maybe we can go up the slide, like... Nope, or not. Can we roll up the slide, question mark? Nope, okay, that's not working. <laughs> Did they give us a hint on how to uh, how to get up there? They might have, and I've probably already forgotten. You got your son a Reptar bar to eat? Were they any good? I feel like Noodle and I bought one at one point, but I honestly don't remember if we did or not. Noodle, did we? Those are actually pretty gross, so that's probably a yes then. <laughs> I mean, there's a door here. Can we, like, not go through the door? Well, I'm already stuck, guys. This is going well. <laughs> I know, let's purchase the one up. Whatever, yeah, sure. Oh. Okay. So, that... All right. <laughs> That's, I thought a one up would, like, bring us back to life, not, like... Just send us up here. Holy shit. Okay, whatever then. I guess I guess that works too. Let's play punting papayas. It cost three batteries and one thousand one hundred and twenty dollars. What the hell, man? This is the world's worst little playset here. This shit's expensive. I'm a baby. I don't have eleven hundred dollars. <laughs> Nor do I have that many batteries. I don't think. What is... Oh. There's an ATM section? Okay, this game is weird as shit. This is not at all what I expected. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh... Why is there, like, glowing money that I can't seem to touch or do anything with? What the fuck is this game? For real. Okay, wait a second. 
Grab as many carrots as you can before time runs out, but it costs $500. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe those other games take batteries, but if you win them, you get that much money? Question mark? Let's try that maybe, man. I don't know. And uh, go to the igloo section. Are these games free? No. Oh, but there's another battery. That might be that might be all the batteries that we need to to do this shit. Can I jump over to there, or is that just a bad idea? That's probably just a bad idea. Let's not do that. Alright, I, I mean, I'm assuming we have enough batteries and shit, so let's just hit yes. It seems to be working. Sure. Oh. <laughs> we got it from FYE. You haven't tried it in same. Saw it at FYE. Figured he'll get a kick out of it. Turn his tongue green. <laughs> I, I don't think it was that bad. I don't really remember, though. Okay. So we gotta, we gotta race these snowmen. And if we win, we get a prize. Dope. Let's go. I'm gonna kick their ass, boy. I got this. Holy shit. This is actually kind of fast. I'm a little bit surprised. Ah, what the hell? That wasn't very nice. Rude ass snowman. <laughs> this reptard tough thing ain't joking around, eh? Hey, why didn't you jump? I hit the jump. Bullshit. I need the ref. Is there anything else we can do, or is jump the only option? Oh, jump's the only option. They're actually, like, kind of on my tail, isn't he? I don't think there's any way to, like, speed up or anything. So wait, is this essentially just a collection of mini games then that we're playing through? Holy crap, there is stuff everywhere, man. Maybe picking Reptar Tough was the uh, the wrong option here. I don't know. <laughs> like maybe we maybe we should have picked uh, the baby mode or whatever. Oh god, don't hit the stuff. I I assume we should grab the money though. Do we need the money for anything other than playing like more mini games? Like, do you have to collect all the mini games and shit to, to win, or is it just optional? Shit, I have no clue, man. And so far, the only thing the coins do is let us get them back up here, right? I think we just missed a battery, which I'm assuming is important for us to get, for one reason or another. Hey, thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. Also, yeah, that's right. We gotta we gotta finish three in first three times, right? So we gotta win three times to get the prize. I guess that's one way to make the game last longer. Just make people do the same thing multiple times in a row. I'm being too hard. It is it is a kid's game after all. Like <laughs> Like so far for a kid's game, it's pretty decent, you know? Although, like, it seems to require a little bit of reading, which for, like, small, small children might be an issue. What age do kids start learning to read? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been a kid in a long time. I don't really remember what age I learned to, uh, learn to read at this point, you know? But yeah, tell me more about uh, Craftopia there, Nate, if you don't mind, man. I am curious about it. I do like survival crafting games. Like I said, I've been playing uh, some Seven Days to Die with, uh, you know, just with my brother and whatnot and a friend of ours. And uh, it's been pretty fun. Seven Days to Die, for anybody who doesn't know, is essentially like... I'm it's like basically Minecraft. <laughs> like there's mining, there's crafting, you build a base, and then roughly every seven days, roughly every seven days, there's a uh, horde of zombies that come to kill you instead of just a, uh, like the random ones that are out and about. And then you like, you get missions that you can do like treasure hunts that you can dig for treasure and whatnot. And then there's like missions to collect supplies that have been hidden in different areas, uh, like different houses or waypoints or whatever. 
missions to meet other traders to to clear out an area whatever the case may be and uh when you do that you get experience as well as loot of course that you can use and then you can you know with experience make yourself a better crafter unlock new recipes all that kind of good stuff so it's actually it's pretty fun it's not bad man I, uh, I'm pretty sure I got it on, like, Humble Bundle at some point or something, so I don't really remember how much money I paid for it. But, like, it's fun, and it's got, uh, you can host private servers, you can rent servers, you can make public servers, uh, you can play peer-to-peer -peer and all that stuff, so, like, it's a lot of fun. There's a big modding scene for it, too, it looks like, which is pretty cool. Like, uh, the one mod I would definitely suggest for anybody that decides to try out Seven Days to Die is, uh, the one for the UI. Because the UI is the one thing that, like, kind of sucks in Seven Days to Die, I'm not gonna lie. For a game that's been being worked on for, I think, ten years is what my brother was telling me, it's a little rough around the edges, man. It's missing some polish, like, similar to Minecraft... You're still somewhat early game. You're kind of chilling on the first island and upgrading to the next stage as much as I can. I have to look it up or something, man. So, like, similar to Minecraft, but you're saying, like, there's... Oh, when you win the stuff, you get big batteries. Okay. Uh, who do we want to play as, man? I kind of want to play as Chucky. I like Chucky. Anyways, uh... But, yeah, like, you mentioned progressing to the next stage. Does that mean... Like, you have to do research, or is it just, like, as you level up, or how does, like, the, the ages and shit work in it? I'm always looking for new games to play, so, like... <laughs> Not that I have time to play any games, really, but, like, shit, still. That's nice. I'm glad that it has the... It's, like, all lit up to show us that we've already beaten that level. What, uh, what happens if we go to it again? 390 now? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So those are all the prizes, not what it costs to enter. All right, so we got two of the little batteries, but there's still one big battery. Or, we got the big battery and one little battery, but there's still one little battery left in there. And then still 390 bucks that we can pick up. But we don't have to, I'm assuming. We just had to beat the levels to get the big batteries to power this thing up maybe to get the ladder unlocked or something i don't really know man you collect crafting materials hunt animals fish there's dungeons they're supposed to be mining also you progress through ages to unlock more items you're currently renaissance renaissance you'd have to collect and craft items required for progressing and have enough money that's pretty dope actually man is there multiplayer too or is it all single player shit So our goal in this one is just to get to the top without dying, essentially? Like... <laughs> oh, we can throw snowballs. Okay. It's weird that the, the snowballs are, like, yelling at us, man. They're, like, taunting us. Taunting us... Ah! <laughs> I like our, our health bar over there, man. The, uh... Oh, shit. Okay. We're, we're actually gonna die, aren't we? Holy crap, dude. Snowmen are vicious. Is there a way to, like, aim what we throw or no? And those Angelica boxes really freaking blow up, dude. There's some mean snowmen for real, man. Very rude. Is there, like, I, I need some health or something would be nice. You can't catch me. Single and multiplayer? Excellent, dude. You have to check it out. Craftopia, huh? I'm assuming it's a PC game, right? I can't imagine it being not a PC game. Ah, uh, right before we got the battery, too, that snowman is just gonna deck us. Sorry, we'll just try again. Dude, you already murdered him. Stop throwing the snowballs. Honestly, I'm surprised Chucky's not, like, crying or something, to be honest. Like, it's kind of his MO, you know? Oh, shit. And whenever we lose, we get sent all the way back down to the bottom. 
<laughs> Maybe we can just get some new toys. Dude, I love Chucky. Chucky's a whole mood on his own, man. Are each one of these coins only worth one, or are they worth more? Because otherwise, we're kind of screwed if all of our people, they're only worth one. So if we were to die five times, would it basically just be game over at that point? Or like, how the hell does that work, you know? You decide you're actually going to use this game for your first couple test streams because it's super laid back. And the dying mechanic is a lot more forgiving than Minecraft's. It's currently on Game Pass for PC. Hell yeah, dude. That makes it even better. I don't have Game Pass at the moment or anything like that, but, you know, free games are nice. <laughs> well, not free, but, you know. Jesus, you freaking snowmen. And does that, like, actually kill them? It does. Okay. So we should maybe actually try to kill them instead of, instead of just running from them all. You can get it for a dollar, I'm sure. Uh, maybe? I feel like I did try Game Pass technically at some point. I don't think I ever actually downloaded anything on it, but... And I've definitely had Xbox Live before, but... I don't know. Regardless, though, I mean, even if I had to pay for Game Pass, I wouldn't be mad about it. Although, if the game's not too much, though, I might just buy the game on its own. I do like owning games. If uh, you couldn't tell by, you know, all the PS2 shit that I <laughs> that I buy and own. I also have quite a, uh, quite a Steam library. More games than is really necessary. Most of those I have gotten from, like, uh, Humble Bundles and shit like that, though. Another amazing deal for any aspiring PC gamers out there, man. Humble Bundle is freaking dope. Like... You get some amazing games for it. I forget exactly what games you get this month for it, but I remember... I think Mass Effect was one of them that uh, was specifically, like, stood out to me as being, like, holy shit, really? It's like the... the yeah, 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 Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That's the one. Which, again, just, like, really blew my mind, you know? You get good games on Humble Bundle all the time, but Mass Effect Legendary Edition? That's huge, man. I'm really excited for that one because I've been wanting to play the Mass Effect games for quite a while since I've lost my save. The Chucky! He's right in front of you, man. How did you miss? <laughs> Alright, get the battery this time. Chucky, grab the battery. The frame rate feels a little off, I'm not gonna lie. Which, uh, you know, considering what this game is, is kind of... Kinda sad, but eh, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Whatever. Uh, where's the thing that we're supposed to be getting at? What is that? Is that... Oh, that's a band-aid. Extra health. That makes sense. Band-aid to all your boo-boos and everything. I got you. I got you. Only 25. You're probably going to purchase it. I mean, if you plan on keeping Game Pass, though, is there any reason to purchase it? I guess, like, you can't really, if there's mods or anything for it. Because don't the Game Pass versions, like, the uh, the downloader for them not have mod support and all that shit? Whereas if you just bought it on Steam or whatever, then they can do whatever you want with the game, basically. I'm no expert on, on Game Pass or anything like that, though, so I could totally be wrong about that. I just thought I remembered someone telling me that Game Pass games can't be modded because they are installed from the microsoft store or whatever windows store some bs like that where exactly are we going are we just going to the ski lift i think we're just going to the ski lift i hope we are at least because like because <laughs> otherwise we are lost as fuck bro Uh, no. Maybe we need to go up higher. Oh, nope. Okay, we're on the ski lift. Are we gonna get, like, shot off this thing by the snowmen that are on there? Can we jump off the ski lift, or is the ski lift just, like, a shortcut? Nope. Okay, we seem to be... Once we're on the ski lift, we're on the ski lift, so that's that. <laughs> we, I literally can't do anything as far as I can tell. I can pause the game, and that's about it. Speaking of pausing the game, though, options... 
yep, no subtitles. Not even, not even a little bit of subtitles. <laughs> you can't get Games do get recycled off Game Pass, and this is one I can see myself playing regularly. I know they do get recycled off, but isn't, uh, don't some games stay on there for, like, a long-ass time, though? Like, years? <laughs> Ooh, shit. I wasn't paying any attention. Almost hit the Angelica jack-o'-lantern things. Ah, Chucky, don't do it. <laughs> um, Did we end up grabbing the key or did I? No, I just completely skipped the key. Good job, me. Okay. Unlock the bill, the, the door, door, bill, whatever. Same thing, really, right? They did change it, so it may be possible to mod Game Pass games now. That'd be pretty dope if that's the case. I know they improved the uh, Microsoft Store experience a bit, but I don't know, like, what all they changed, you know? Like, they fixed, what, there were some V-Sync issues on some monitors. I remember hearing about that. Um... Uh, not being able to go true full screen was a was an issue for like G-Sync and stuff like that. Or maybe it was just G-Sync that I was thinking of. Oh, you know what it was? I think it was you couldn't use G-Sync because there was no exclusive full screen mode. And there was no way to turn off V-Sync in games. Maybe that's what it was. I don't remember. And then uh, lack of modding support and a few other issues. Because their Universal Windows platform applications instead of just normal builds like exes yeah there are games that stay on there forever but you can only be 100 or you can never be 100 percent sure which ones are which that's fair yeah yeah yeah. i get it man like you said if it's something that you really like and enjoy then it's nice to support the dev anyways that's one problem with game pass in general it's great for consumers but it's actually kind of bad for devs and uh, makes your sales numbers look bad, too. I know there's a few devs that have talked about, both with Humble Bundle and with Game Pass, honestly, um, having problems because they've, uh, you know, released their games as part of huge Humble Bundles or uh, as, as on Game Pass or whatever. And they go to make a sequel and they tell the investors, like, hey, uh, we got this game idea. It's a sequel to our previous game, which had, you know, this many millions of players or millions is probably a bit much but you get what i'm saying this many thousands of players tens of thousands of players or whatever um and we just need a little bit of investment to make the second one and they're like okay well what's your sales numbers and they'll be like well technically we only sold you know a uh, hundred thousand copies or whatever um but like look we have had you know four hundred thousand players and they're just like yeah we don't give a fuck because like all they care about are sales numbers at the end of the day I'm sure that's changed a little bit as, you know, streaming, game streaming has become more popular. But I know that was a, uh, was an issue at least at one point in time. Yeah, yeah, what's up, Rue? I'm down for some serious questions. Let's go. AMA time. A yeah, yeah, AMA time. <laughs> Forgot my acronyms for a second. So I'm going into collectathon mode now that we're doing like a normal platforming section and not a uh, not a race. <laughs> I feel like I need to collect everything, all the stuff, please and thank you. I doubt there's any real reason to do it. Like, what are you gonna unlock? You know? Oh God, no! Oh, well, thank you, Angelica. You actually kind of helped. I really don't think you were trying to, but uh, <laughs> but you got me up here where I wanted to go, so I appreciate that. Do any of you guys go to the gym? You found out you're four pounds from 300, so you need tips on how to get back down. Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't since COVID, but I used to go to the gym. Um, I'm no like expert or anything like that. But in my experience and from what I've read in general, the biggest thing is diet, honestly. Um, cutting out, you know, excess sugars, pop, stuff like that. 
and uh, portion control. Like, for most people, unless you have a medical reason why, like, one form of calories affects you a lot more than other, from what I've read, it doesn't really matter what you eat. It's all about just how how much in, in general. Um, so, like, if you really enjoy pizza, like, that's fine. Eat pizza, but, like, you just have to control the portion of pizza that you eat, you know? Count the calories, essentially. Uh, drink more water always. Yes, that's that's definitely a good tip because it helps keep you full just by having, you know, water in your stomach so you feel less hungry in general. Um, and then just drinking more water to a point is pretty much always just a good thing for you too. <laughs> like, <laughs> technically you can have too much, but like you gotta, you gotta drink a lot to have too much water. Uh, and then like if you do decide to go to the gym, uh, as far as, like, weight goes, if that's what you're worried about, uh, cardio, you know, hitting up the treadmill, doing shit like that, um, lifting weights and things help to, with, like, you know, making you healthier, and they will burn calories and help you lose weight, it'll also increase your basal metabolic rate, which is the, uh, the number of calories that you burn just normally throughout the day without doing any, uh, strenuous activity or anything, uh, the more muscle you have, the more your basal metabolic rate is. But um, muscle weighs more than flesh, like other types of flesh, like like fat and organs and all that crap. So uh, if you build muscle, you'll actually gain weight <laughs> a lot of the times. So like if you're worried about weight purely, then like lifting weights and things probably isn't the way to go. Just, just diet and, and general exercises. Now, if you're trying to, like, tone a certain part of your body or you just want to feel better, like, that's why I went to the gym. You know, I don't care much about my weight, but I wanted to feel better. You know, my back was hurting. I was feeling weaker after switching my, my job. Uh, like, I just, yeah. So I wanted to lift weights and shit just to get back into shape, you know? <laughs> You just need enough to get some stamina so I can actually work out. The most I can do is treadmill and ouch. That's going to be something I work on because I'm a human garbage disposal. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no, I mean, that's honestly, like, the, the biggest thing, you know? And, like, for, for the way I understand it, at least, as far as losing weight goes, it doesn't really matter what kind of exercise you do, right? Like, uh, cardio... Like, there, there's tricks with muscle building that you want to do, like, like switching up different exercises and, and doing, like, this for a week and then switching to something else for a week and shit like that. As far as I'm aware, for just losing weight, I don't think it really matters, right? Like, burning calories is burning calories, but, like, I'm not, I'm not a uh, expert at all. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, I mean, I, I know whenever I was, uh, I went to the hospital at one point and they checked my blood glucose levels while I was there. And uh, I was technically in the diabetic range. Barely, but I was. Um, and just by cutting out all the excess sugars in my diet, I lost quite a bit of weight. And then uh, I dieted for other reasons. I kind of didn't have my appetite anymore. Um, I guess you could call it an eating disorder. <laughs> but anyways, I dieted pretty hard because of that and uh, lost a lot of weight. <laughs> um, but the thing with that, the thing with like crash diets is and why it's not generally a good idea, they do help you lose a lot of weight. Like, you can't deny that, um, whether it be like Atkins or, uh, you know, keto or, or whatever kind of thing. You'll lose weight, but the, as soon as you go back to a normal eating habit... Um, you're gonna put a lot of that weight back on, which is why it's better just to make small, consistent changes. Like, uh, um, say every day for lunch, you have, you know, whatever you normally eat, but you also have a bottle of pop to go with it. Cut out that bottle of pop, replace it with a, uh, bottle of water instead. And then after getting used to that for a couple weeks or a month or whatever, then switch up, uh, you know, lower your breakfast portion by by a little bit and then just make small consistent changes. And if you find that you're still hungry, find healthier options to eat is a big thing, too, because um, 
with a diet, you don't want to go hungry, right? Because if you're if you're hungry, then you're gonna you're gonna want to eat, which isn't a bad thing. Like if you're hungry, you should eat, but like you just need to to learn to eat healthier stuff when you're hungry instead of you know snack foods, cookies, chips, whatever. Which is something I struggle with. I'm I'm a big snacker. I love chips, uh, like like love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, learning to eat more vegetables, you know, stuff like that. Uh, celery is like the classic example of something that's relatively healthy, extremely low in calories, and you can eat a shit ton of it. And uh, vegetables in general too, since they're high in fiber, um, can help you feel fuller longer. Um, it can also help if you ever have bathroom troubles as well. So like, that's that's nice. <laughs> the, the thing with vegetables and whatnot, and the downfall for a lot of people, and to a certain degree myself as well, I didn't mean to get on this uh, lift, but we're stuck on it now. Anyways, uh, the thing with vegetables and a pitfall that I find myself tra uh, falling in all the time is uh, eating it with too much, like, dip or ranch or, like, with salad, putting too much salad dressing on it or whatever. Right? Because, like, vegetables are healthy. It's a good way to fill yourself up without taking in too many calories, whatever. But as soon as you put half a gallon of ranch on it or, or of Italian or, or whatever, well, now you're just getting all those calories again from a different source. Like... <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, and that's something, yeah, that Doc said no ranch dip for veggie snacks. I'm guilty of that, too. Like, I love my condiments, so I, I struggle anytime I eat vegetables not using too much of whatever, you know? But, yeah, that that's my biggest tip is just, you know, cut out extra sugars where you can. But understand that it's perfectly okay to eat some, still. Trying to cut all of them out is going to do nothing but harm. And uh, make slow changes that you can actually stick with. That's uh, that's the biggest the biggest tips I, I personally could give. And then work work exercise into, into the whole plan there as you can, you know? Exercise shouldn't be the first line of defense for losing weight, I guess, is what I'm saying. Diet's kind of the first thing. Because I forget the exact math on it. It's easy enough to look up. But, like, one, uh, one snack size bag of M&Ms or whatever takes, like, I don't remember. It, it, it's a lot. Like, you gotta walk a long-ass way to, to burn off one snack size pack of M&Ms or insert candy here. You know, or alternatively, you could just not eat that one little bag of M&Ms and then <laughs> and then it's like problem solved, you know? So, yeah, it's kind of why, why diet has to come first and then exercise second. The exercise is good for you, though. Like, it's a good thing to do, obviously. Skin yourself moving, building some muscle is good and whatnot. Um, but as another overweight person, I'm probably not the, the best person to take advice from, you know? So, whatever. <laughs> another important thing, though, just kind of while I'm, while I'm thinking about it, I didn't expect to go on about this so long, to be honest, but, uh, also accept the fact that there are going to be times when you fail. I feel that's important, too, you know? Like, there's going to be a, a day or a week or, or whatever where... You fall out of the whatever healthy habits you're trying to build, and you're going to go back to eating a, uh, a whole bag of chips in one sitting, or uh, more cookies than you should have for, for a snack, etc. Like, and just, you know, accept it. Like, try not to, of course, but when it happens, don't let it discourage you, because it's going to happen. Like, I literally, legitimately get ill <laughs> when I eat too much sugar. Like, my heart starts racing. I feel sick, I get woozy, like, it's just gross. And you know what? Every once in a while, it doesn't happen too often, but every once in a while, I still find myself eating too much freaking sugar because, like, it just, it happens, man. Is there any way, like, can we see what dot we are on this little mini-map that we have down here? Can I also say I really appreciate games with rolls? Like, I don't know what it is, but I just really like the feeling of rolling around. 
Ooh, okay, there's something over there. A little hat or something. There's also whatever that is in the top of the hill. Can we just climb this hill? Chucky is a ghost now. Yes, the depression snacking days. Honestly, though, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's it, man. <laughs> I've been working on losing weight and just in general eating a little better because I was real bad about not eating and then pigging out. Also constantly forgetting to drink in general. Just have bad days, we do a lot better now and feel better more often. You mean Lion Stream Fruity Pebbles cake was my downfall the last couple of days? Yeah, and that's it happens to everybody, you know? Anybody who tells you that it they never Oh shit. Fucking Angelica, you're the worst. Anyways, anybody who tells you that like they've never had a slip up with whatever diet or or healthy eating plan etc that they're on is probably lying to you to be honest like it's the same like if anybody ever tries to tell you that like they know everything about a subject or whatever like chances are they probably don't you know <laughs> like you just i don't know man people are uh Especially when it comes to diet and exercise stuff and whatnot, there are some people out there who are just real hardcore believers that there's only one way to do it, something, and their way is the only way and the perfect way, and everybody else is wrong, and blah, 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 blah. Like, <laughs> and it just kind of irritates the hell out of me. That sounds good. We end up having a huge cheat day where we got Cold Stone and Subway. Bruh. Uh, Noodle's been wanting me to take her to Cold Stone. We're going to have to go one of these days. A vegan teacher cough. <laughs> is, why is vegan teacher like a uh, a YouTuber or something like that? The name sounds familiar, and I'm not sure why. Oh, here we go. Get the surrender to strawberry. I might, but uh, fun fact: Noodle was lame as shit and doesn't like strawberry flavored ice cream. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with her, but for some godforsaken reason, she does not like strawberry ice cream. I know, it's terrible. I don't know how I am still with her after all this time, but uh, like, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I love her to death, but yeah, she really doesn't like strawberry ice cream for whatever reason. She's a crazy TikToker, homophobic racist bitch. That's awesome. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay then, yep. I, uh, I've never heard of her. I don't watch that much TikTok, and uh, I think it's for the best, from the sounds of it, that I don't know anything about her. <laughs> You've practically cut it pop out. That's awesome, man. Still try sips of new ones when they come out, and we'll get a two liter once in a blue moon with the pizza order. Try to stick to water. And uh, although not the greatest, my no sugar energy drinks. Yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of debate on how healthy sugar-free stuff honestly is for you. Right, because like, but not only are there potential side effects of, oh wait, are we just the center of the mini map? That would make total sense. Anyways, not only is there just debate on the the how healthy those chemicals are, um, but there's also like they act weird in the body, right? Your your body can't technically metabolize them, hence how they're calorie free sweeteners, but it's like you still get blood sugar spikes and stuff with them, so it's a little. It's not fully understood. Um, and there's, if I'm not mistaken, there's some studies out there that show they may actually still cause weight gain in some people, um, but like indirectly, right? They're not metabolized, so they're not being turned into fat, but other things that you eat are turned into fat more efficiently or like quicker or something like that. I don't know, again, not a doctor, not, not a food expert or anything like that. I've just uh, read a lot of things on the internet, so <laughs> I could be very wrong about a lot of things. Just to throw that out there. Ooh, there's a thing. You don't like soggy fruit? I mean, not liking soggy fruit's one thing, but yeah, like ice cream is not soggy fruit. It's semi-frozen, usually soft fruit, like. <laughs> You're gonna leave me over not liking strawberry ice cream? No, I'm not gonna leave you over not liking strawberry ice cream, you weirdo. <laughs> I'm gonna pick on you all the time for not liking strawberry ice cream, but I'm not gonna leave you for it. 
Timmy Ho Sweet Tea sounds good right about now. A Tim Hortons uh, decaf tea latte with uh, Splenda sounds really good right now. But, of course, Tim Hortons changed their schedule and now closes, like, in the middle of the day for some reason. Not literally the middle of the day, but, like, what time do they close? Like, 10 o'clock or something stupid? Like, man, you're a coffee shop. You're supposed to be open late. That's what you're here for. Like, <laughs> what's the point of a coffee shop if it closes at 10 o'clock? How am I supposed to get my middle of the night coffee, tea, whatever? Extremely weird. It also has something to do with the brain tricking itself. You read some of those articles also. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? Another weird fun fact. If you get muscle cramps, it's well known that uh, drinking water, sports drinks, anything with electrolytes in it can help uh, relieve muscle cramps, right? Like, that's pretty well known fact. <clears throat> but little lesser known fact, um, many studies have shown that drinking pickle juice cures... Uh, muscle cramps faster and more efficiently than sports drinks. Okay, fair enough. You know, it's very salty. It's got some uh, vitamins and stuff in it from, you know, the, the, the garlic and the cucumbers and all that shit. But here's the weird part. It seems to cure muscle cramps in a lot of cases faster than your body can actually digest the liquid that you are drinking. So for some reason, like you drink it and your brain just instantly sends a signal to your body being like, hey, stop that cramp or something. Like it makes no sense at all. But like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like I don't get it. But that's a thing that I've read that apparently studies have confirmed that in some cases, pickle juice can cure uh, cramps like leg cramps and stuff like that before your body even has a chance to absorb the salt and, and, and other uh, electrolytes in it. It's really freaking weird. I don't get it. At all. Yo, who's that voice though? Yeah, what's the voice? I don't know what you're talking about. Whose voice? I'm guessing in the game. Oh, 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 oh the, the, the girl in the background. What's her name? It's uh, Angelica's quote unquote friend. Not really friend, but uh, you know, I mean, they're kind of friends. Oh, I can't remember her name. At all. I'm sure Noodle knows it. Susie. Susie. Yeah, Susie. I think you're talking about Susie. The snowmans? It sounds like... I don't think that was the snowman talking that you're talking about. <laughs> Susie is, the, like, the announcer person. But the snowmen, I think, are just somebody else entirely. But even with those, you consume much less fake sugar than you did regular sugar. You used to drink a gallon or two of tea a day. That had a cup of sugar in each. Yeah, man. I was never that bad, but I did drink... Uh, Mountain Dew used to be, like, ex my exclusive source of water. <laughs> and obviously, Mountain Dew has a fair amount of sugar in it. So, you know, that was like a two liter a day thing going on. So, cutting that out really helped me a lot. Whenever you're having low blood sugar attack, you experience something similar. Just getting something sweet in your mouth instantly makes me feel better. It's weird, ain't it? Our brain works weird as hell, man. Okay, we're racing. Uh, Go. where, oh, okay, I guess we're just going. Should probably try not to hit stuff, but holy crap, is this boat fast? Is there any reason not to just go full tilt? I guess, like, the boat could break or whatever. But, like, who cares if the boat breaks, man? Ain't my boat. <laughs> you feel called out? You can empty a gallon of your Nana's sweet tea in a day. I've never been a sweet tea drinker, so I don't have much to say on that. But uh, I do know that tea in general tends to be very high in sugar, though. So, yeah. If you're trying to lose weight, then uh, it's probably a good idea not to do that. <laughs> I do want to say, though, just to throw it out there, like, I don't... Unless it's, like, a medical problem or whatever, um, I don't feel it's necessary for people to lose weight you know bigger people i uh i think we should all try to be happy with our our bodies whenever possible now obviously if it becomes a medical issue then oh shit our boat's health goes between races that's an issue anyways yeah yeah you, you get what i'm saying <laughs> body positivity all that bs that's all we're so dead by the way like 
I didn't realize that the health of our boat would carry over between races, so I was just freaking, like, did not care, hitting everything. <laughs> we Update on the IUD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that going for you? Doc said I should be okay. She says if it gets longer, that's when we need to worry. Oh, weird. Okay. Stream, you're screwed, I know. I died. That's how screwed I was. I think it's about time to switch it up anyways. Maybe we'll go with uh, Tommy or something. I also just realized that we've been streaming for just under an hour, so it's about time to take a break anyways. I'm gonna teach my mom some of that body positivity. Your mom is hopeless, Noodle. Like, honestly. For herself and for others. And that's like... Like, she's hard on herself for it. Which sucks. But then she also gets on everyone else's cases about theirs. Which is just like, bruh. Like, <laughs> freaking rough, dude. My two OMFG and, and my Nana. Bruh. <laughs> Rude. Anyways, yeah, guys, my uh, my head's hurting. I'm going to get a drink and take some Tylenol as well as stretch and whatnot while we roll the ad. But we'll be back in like, uh, I don't know, three minutes. Oh, well, in that case, have a good night, Rue. Happy to talk to you, man. And uh, I'll probably talk to you again, what, in a day or two? <laughs> have a good night. Everybody else, I'll be back in like three minutes. Mr. Noodle said, well, I got coffee in my eyes, so things changed. So here I am. How is your eye, love? Is it is it feeling okay at least after you <laughs> you dump some coffee in it? At least it wasn't hot co hot coffee. That would have been even worse. I mean, not that having cold coffee in your eye feels nice, but <laughs> I personally would rather have some cold coffee in my eye than hot coffee. Now step forward. Can we do it? I don't know, man. This might be tough. Oh shit, we did it. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'm gonna be so sad if your shirt is stained. Yeah, I hope not. You got it in the wash real quickly. So, hopefully it won't be too bad. Should we apply a smoothing filter? It's looking a little, a little alias. We can add, we can add some smoothing here real quick. Look like you got a lot of it out. That's good. Hopefully it stays that way. Uh, sampling? No, not sampling. Interpolation, smooth. Did that change anything? Nope. <laughs> yep, I don't think that changed a damn thing, so... <laughs> Alright. That's fine then. I guess maybe those settings don't work on uh, YPVCR inputs. Ah, eh, whatever, it's fine. The game still looks wonderful, man. Alright, so we're playing on hard mode. What do we want? Do we want defense? Or do we want the sword? I'm down for either one, honestly. Just don't ask me to take the wand because I am terrible at magic. Hey, Dorseman, thank you for the subscription, man. And thank you for the happy birthday. I'm glad you can make it here, bud. What do you want, shield, sword? I th I'm thinking sword, man. Just go all in on the attack. Let's do it. Power of the warrior, and in invincible courage, a sword of terrible destruction. Is this the power you seek? Yeah, boy, let's do it. Well, now this looks familiar to you, except it's the wrong game. <laughs> yeah, because you've only played, what, Birth by Sleep, right, Rue? I think that's what you said you uh, you had played before. Again, we are playing on Expert, and it's been quite a while since I've played the game, so hopefully we don't get our ass kicked too bad. But uh, we'll find out. Yeah, I give up the magic power. Magic is very powerful in Kingdom Hearts, don't get me wrong, but I am just bad at it, so I usually <laughs> give that up. And then I usually either go for the sword or shield as the uh, the main power. With as long as it's been since I've played, I probably should have gone to the shield for the extra defense. But oh well. I'll turn the game down just a little bit. It's a little bit loud for me. Don't know how it uh balancing out for you guys, but... Bye-bye, <laughs> Snow White. Man, I do miss me some Birth by Sleep. I'd love to play that again soon, too. I could actually stream it on the original PSP, but... I mean... I'd probably just play it on the PS4, though. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, thank you for the 5-bit cheer love with the birthday cupcakes. I love it. We got the power to fight. Hello! We're back. Mr. Noodle! Oh, okay. <laughs> 
You answered my question just as I was getting ready to ask you again. It's always a stream from the day you got iced coffee in your eye and on your Melanie shirt. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I don't know. It, it's meant to be random. Um, but like, I feel like the randomizer doesn't work all that well. I think it's because I have it set to like folders, right? Where it just picks a random video from the folder. I think if maybe I set it like each individual file, it might work a little bit better, but like, I don't know. I'm lazy. That's all. <laughs> so I haven't, but yeah. I'm sorry you got coffee in your eye and on your Melanie shirt, and we make you think about it all the time with our uh, background video there during the break, though. So. I apologize, Noodle. Okay, so we gotta be a little bit more careful. We got Tommy this time, though, and Tommy literally cannot lose. Hey, Noodle. I have a question for you, love. If you are available, I would like to ask you something. Would you like to watch Rugrats tonight. <laughs> How are we supposed to beat this dude without, like, running into everything and taking literally all of the damage, you know? Like, it's, it's, there's no way, man. It's impossible. I mean, look how fast he is. The dude's a literal alligator. I'm a baby. Like... How's a baby supposed to be? Oh, no. We're definitely not doing first-person mode. That is that is bad, bad. Like, <laughs> like, we've already lost half our health, man. And we're not even done with the run race yet. Oh, those are health packs. The metal-looking ones are health packs. That's actually very helpful. I thought those were just, like, uber damage or something like that. So I've been trying not to hit those ones. I'm not going to lie. I didn't realize they were health. That's kind of helpful to know. Of course, being stuck on the wall isn't helping anything. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Look, we can try again. We can try again. We got this. We might want to do one of the other minigame things, though. Because, like, if we keep losing at that one, we're going to lose all of our money. And, like... <laughs> this looks more dense than the puzzle game? Yeah, for real. This, uh, the Reptar mode's actually kind of hard in parts, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like, which I'm glad about that it's got some challenge to it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just, I'm surprised, like. I would, uh, you know, it's a Rugrats game. I kind of expect it to be easy as shit. And it's not. It's weird. I think we're gonna try, because I don't know how much longer we got here. I think we're gonna try one of the other game modes real quick, like uh, whatever this one is, maybe? Papayas. Hunting papayas, I guess. That's what we're gonna try, man. <laughs> we're gonna punt them papayas, dude. Aw, oh, Noodle, are you cooking your pancakes now? It smells like pancakes in here. I don't want any, but I kind of low-key want some because they smell delicious at the same time. Not gonna lie. Like, they be, they be smelling good good, you know? You're eating them? Well, the... The, the the scent just had time to waft upstairs now, I guess, because it is smelling delicious, dude. Okay, so we gotta get papayas and put them in things. Put them in the crate. How do I put them in the crate? I don't know. I don't even know where the crate's at. You put nanners on them? I know. You told me you were gonna do that. I remember. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, so we can kind of jump. Is the water, like... I don't know, like, if Tommy can swim. <laughs> I feel like we might need to be careful. I love how it's putting, like, it's got this little hint marker thing for us here. Like, that's kind of nice, you know? Ah, uh, no! We dropped the papaya! My papaya! Oh, and those are checkpoint trees. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. So, yeah. So, we gotta, we gotta like, carry the papaya through here. We don't die if we go in the water. But we, uh... 
we lose the papaya we were holding because obviously Tommy can't hold a papaya in the water. He can only hold the papaya when he's jumping around and and climbing up slopes and shit. I don't know. That makes perfect sense. We never remember anything else. You don't have to yell, Noodle. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Noodle and I we're having a uh, like a cookout day tomorrow, the two of us. And uh, we were talking about trying fried banana. We could totally take a banana with us and try frying it up on the grill tomorrow. See if it's any good. You know what I bet would be good? <laughs> we were just talking about trying not to eat too much like excess sugars and whatnot. But I'm about to suggest something that's got some sugar in it. Um, <laughs> it'd probably be good if we had like some demerara sugar or something like that to sprinkle on it. To let it caramelize a little bit while it's grilling. I bet you that would taste freaking delicious. Okay, we can't double jump right now. I don't think that's a Tommy thing. I think it's just uh, because we're carrying Le Papaya. Uh, up, please. Now you're wanting to make ribs, bro. I'd love me some good ribs. I don't make them too often. It's not Noodle's favorite thing in the world to eat. And uh, while there are some relatively cheap ribs that are, that are good... Um, a lot of ribs, you know, aren't all that cheap. I like getting the, the ones that have already been deboned, though, to be honest. Like, I don't mind eating them off the bone or anything. But I find it easier to just, you know, <laughs> not have to do that. And, I don't know, meat's meat. I just like meat. Fuck! Tommy, keep a hold of the papaya, bro. <laughs> Noodle said, meh, yeah, see? Like I said, not Noodle's favorite. I like ribs, though. You know where a surprisingly good place to get ribs from? Whatever your local Chinese restaurant is. Like, <laughs> if they serve ribs, I bet you they're going to be pretty good, dude. I'm biased. I've only ever tried ribs from a Chinese place, like, twice. Like, two different places. But for some reason, they were both low-key, like, fucking fire. I don't know why. But like, and they weren't even like a Korean style barbecue or anything like that. Like it was just American style barbecue ribs and they were fucking delicious. Like really quite surprising. Also the frame rate in this game is so bad. It's so bad. Like it looks pretty good though. Like I'll give them that, right? Like it looks pretty decent, but I think they could have cut back the detail just a tiny bit. <laughs> To give us, you know, just one or two more frames. <laughs> that would be nice. Also, having giant rocks crushing babies, I feel like should be a bit of a problem. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Tommy just got fucking wrecked, dude. Completely wrecked. That boulder broke too, though. Tommy's got a hard-ass head, apparently. You got packs of beef ribs. They were like 14 bucks. Yeah, I mean, like, ribs aren't the most expensive thing ever or anything. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, they're not exactly cheap either, you know? The ones at the store's deli aren't bad. I've tried those ones. Like, the ones that are already cooked and you just heat them up. They're okay. They're not my favorite. I prefer buying the meat and just making my own. And I meant they were expensive, lol. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, like, to be honest, though, 14 bucks for, for good meat isn't that expensive, you know? And that's what I was saying. Like, obviously, 14 bucks isn't cheap, like I was saying. But, like, it's not the most expensive thing either. It's just, like, I can get, you know, regular pork for, like, what? three fifty, four dollars $4 a pound, something like that? For just non-rib pork meat? And 14 bucks for a pack, you're getting into, like, steak territory... And if I got to pick between steak and ribs, I'm probably going to pick steak, you know? Like, <laughs> in most cases, because I freaking love steak. So good. Oh, speaking of, uh, I don't know why this part of the game just made me think of it. I finally started playing uh, Daxter a little bit, man. Hold on. Hold on a second. Was there not a papaya back here where we dropped the other one off at? Bruh, where's the papaya? Why no papaya? 
I'm very up. Oh, there it is. I'm glad I was actually like looking for that because otherwise I never would have freaking seen it. I I don't know if I can get up here. Am I supposed to be able to jump up here? Like, okay, uh, bruh, like, <laughs> uh, like it's not fucking working, dude. Oh god. Oh, okay, we're out of bounds. Uh, game. <laughs> <laughs> we were stuck over there too that's like the best part man all right it's fine everything's fine how the fuck do you why did i jump so much higher that time i have no idea what the hell just happened i spent all that time trying to jump high and then out of nowhere it's just fucking zooms me up dude yeets me it yeeted the baby in the air 14 for like a pound oh really see when you say a pack of ribs too i'm thinking like two pounds or so you know now like to be fair though even with like the two pound things of ribs that's one thing to take into consideration even with like a, a two pound rack of ribs or, or whatever it is like that's bones and meat that's not all edible so like that's something important to take into consideration that i wasn't really accounting for before you know i really wish we could double jump <laughs> fuck uh, is this like, nope, uh, I don't know how to get back to where we were before, so I'm just gonna yeet myself into the river. <laughs> oh, they were deboned and all? Okay. Okay, I'm holding X. Okay, so you don't like, I was trying to like Mario it up, you know, where you press X as you're hitting the jump pad. Uh, Spring and Mario to go higher. No, you just got to hold the X button in this one. I got you, fam. I know what we're doing now. Uh, What I don't remember is where exactly we're going. Okay. We're golden. I can't see anything. Oh, thank God for the checkpoint tree. If I could get a papaya there, then why didn't I just get a papaya there to begin with? Like, why are you making me carry this papaya so far? If there's a papaya tree right freaking there. Like, bruh. You're just trying to make this harder on me, Susie. Uh, bruh, no, that's bullshit. <laughs> I didn't fall in that. You fell in that. You just have issues with pork a lot anymore, Noodle, sadly. Nice what you thinking of it. Oh, wait. Nate. I really like pork. Man, like pork in general. I'll be honest with you. Like, <laughs> my only problem with pork is a lot of the pork I get, I feel like still has little bits of bone in it. Which annoys the hell out of me. But like, other than that, man, I freaking love pork. It's a little bit cheaper than beef. It still tastes really fucking good. Like... Travel to the next island, Atlantic, temporarily on Craftopia? Dude, that's dope. Oh, what am I thinking of, uh, Daxter? It's not too bad. The gameplay's a little bit boring, to be honest. Um, and I couldn't help but notice that they do the same two-year time skip on Daxter, too. Like, it takes you into the beginning of it, and then it, it pops up and says almost two years later. So, like, it does take place before Jack 2, but it's still a two-year time skip into the future, right? Uh, big jump. We got this. Get the coin. And the hippo almost called you a buffalo. Oh, God, it's sinking. You piece of garbage. No, I refuse. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ugh. Game, why do you hate me? This is a hell of a lot easier than that stupid boat racing one, though. I don't know if I'm ever going to beat that one, man. Apparently, I just suck at boat racing. Like, you like pork a lot, just messing with your belly. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I don't know. It's never really, I've never had that issue. I don't really get, like, stomach issues from eating stuff all that often, other than sugar. Like, sugar, and even then, like, I guess it makes me nauseous. Like, feel like I want to puke if I eat too much of it. <laughs> I was going to say, like, even then, it doesn't really do much to me. I guess it doesn't give me, like, a belly ache, but yeah. Makes me nauseous. Just want to throw up a little bit, that's all. 
<laughs> pork is fire, though. That's all I'm saying, okay? Look, and pork and ramen. Ah, oh, that shit was so good. And I haven't had it since I was, like, a kid. But I remember growing up when we would make the, uh, like, shake and bake with pork chops all the time. Bruh, that's amazing. The one thing with pork is you got to make sure not to overcook it. And a lot of people, a lot of people overcook their pork. Because, like, back in the day, that's what they said you had to do with pork. Right? They said it had to be cooked to a really high temperature. Why did you go down, you stupid... Bruh. Did we just cheese it? Wait. Did we just... Oh, no. Okay. There was just one there already. Yeah, I thought we just cheesed the game. Anyways, yeah. Back in the day, they used to say that, like, pork had to be cooked to... Uh, the same as chicken. Like, 165 or whatever. But the general consensus these days is that... Pork can be cooked to, like, beef. Right? Like, 145 or whatever. As long as the outside has a really good sear on it. It can still be, a uh, uh, slightly rare in the middle which uh really helps with flavor and you know juiciness and you know all the same shit is like a good steak cooked medium rare medium whatever however you like it as long as you don't like it well done <laughs> that's the only thing that's unacceptable around here it's fine if you take it medium man it's fine if you take it rare medium rare whatever just don't fucking take it well done please just steak that's the only thing that I care about. I prefer my burgers well done, though. Fun fact. Um, both for uh, health and safety reasons and just personal preference. Like, I think burgers taste better well done. For the most part. Now, growing up, I've eaten rare burgers, man. I've eaten damn near raw hamburgers before. Not gonna lie. Hell, I have eaten raw hamburger. Um, like beef tartare style, you know? Just, we didn't add extra oil to ours, which is what I think they do with beef tartare, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, no, we didn't do that. But, like, salt and pepper on some raw beef and chop it up really fine. Like, we've done that before, even. But, uh, yeah, no, I like, I like my burgers. Well done. No, you freaking Angelica piece of shit. Ramen pork is delicious, and something shake and bake is great. Yes. I agree. <laughs> That's something new to when I, like, never cook that we really should cook is shake and bake, man. You know what I absolutely despise? I like the taste of, but I almost never cook it because I despise it. Chicken, right? Because if chicken is overcooked, it is so dry and gross. But at the same time, man, like, you gotta cook it to at least 165 or whatever to make sure it's safe. And it's such a small window between, like, it being safe and it being dry as hell. Like, I just, I can't deal with it. Fuck. Game. What is up with that? Wait. Uh, I don't think this is where I'm meant to be. Did I just, like, glitch out of bounds there or something? What the hell happened? Also, where's my papaya? Do we not need a papaya to get through here all of a sudden or something? I'm very confused, man. I don't know what's going on. I thought we needed a papaya. But, like, now we don't have one. I'm lost. I'm confused. I'm scared and alone. Ramen pork. Oh, wait. Don't talk about my baby like that. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Angelica is the worst. Not your baby, but the Angelica in freaking Rugrats. Bro, we're gonna die again. Like, holy shit. Why is this bridge section giving me so much trouble? There's a pretzel shake and bake. You slow cook it in some broth. Wait, what? A pretzel shake and bake that you slow cook in broth? That sounds weird, but, like, I'm down, you know? <laughs> Have you ever made, like, homemade pretzels or bagels or anything like that before, man? You totally should. Suggest it for anyone out there. Pretzels are a little more iffy. Like, to make them proper, you're supposed to, uh... Uh... Boil them in, like, a lye solution or whatever. Or soak them in a lye solution. Which is a little bit iffy. It's... 
if you're careful with it, it's technically like safe or whatever. But I'm just like, I don't know, man. I don't know how comfortable I am with that. Uh, you can do it with like uh, baking powder or soda, whichever one it is. You can do it with that too. But like, I don't know. I don't know. It just cooking with bases makes me nervous. I don't really know why, but it does. Whether it be lye, baking, powder, soda, whatever. Makes me nervous, man. But anyways, I, uh... I do like making bagels, though. Bagels, you just use, like, a, a Marley malt... Or a... a fuck, what's it, what's it called? I forget what this stuff's called. Bal malted barley syrup, I think is what it's called. Um... That's, like, really good. You just, you just make a, like, mix that and some water together, and then you boil your, your bagel dough in it. Bruh. Delicious. You have to bring a papaya. Right, well, where the fuck do I get a papaya from, man? There was no, there was no papaya where you spawned me at. Unless I'm blind, which is possible. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But, like... Like, is that a papaya tree? That's a papaya tree, right? Okay. So wait, and then which way did we go from here? We went down, right? Here we go. And then we gotta get around this one. So getting around this one is the problem. There we go. We did it! I'm proud of me. Oh god, Tommy, why? No, the pretzel shake and bake is regular. You meant slow cook your chicken, it keeps it tender, and you can get food grade lye, which is a lot safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I mean, like, regardless if it's food grade or regular lye, it still poses the same risk of, like, if it gets in your eyes, you're instantly going blind and stuff like that. It's just, uh, the idea of it is what makes me uncomfortable. I fully understand that it's safe. And honestly, like, handling bases with my hands doesn't make me that nervous even. It's just the whole idea of eating it. <laughs> Is what makes me nervous, man. Like, I don't really like the... I don't really like the idea of it. But anyways, point is, that's how you make pretzels. And, uh, you can make, uh, bagels that way. Some people boil their bagels in a lye solution. And, uh, apparently that's really good too. But most of the recipes I see use, uh, the Marley syrup. And, or just sugar. Like, you can use just sugar if you want to. That's how I do mine, because I don't have malted barley syrup or whatever the hell it's called and they come out delicious the only problem i have with like the homemade bagels is that you got to eat them quick because they go stale like super fast man so you want to eat them like same day basically or uh, like next day or whatever but they freeze really well so you can just like pre-slice them put them in the freezer and then whenever you want them you just take them out and uh put them in the toaster, you know, still frozen. They'll, they'll thaw as you're toasting them or whatever. Really good. Really good. Highly suggested. Noodles already going blind. We don't need substances to speed that up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That's Noodles always wanted to get into making soap, and that's the reason why, like, she doesn't make soap. Because she's worried about the lie solution. Bruh! You suck, Tommy. Look, I love you. You're the best character on the damn show. I mean, it is, like, your show. But, like, holy shit, dude. Jump. Please. We got this. I believe in you. I didn't mean the mean thing that I said, Tommy. I was just irritated. Like. Okay. And is it just me, or is this thing, like, falling? Right? It is falling. Bruh, why do you suck so hard, Tommy? <laughs> God. Damn it. Okay, so, like, what? Do we need... I guess we need to, like, tilt it a little bit and then jump. But if you tilt it too far, then, like, it's too low or something? I don't know, man. Look, this is supposed to be a little kid's game. Why the hell is it giving me trouble? Okay, you're, you're going. Nope. Go that way. Go that way. Good job. And jump. Okay. Tilt. Tilt. Pivot. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We got this. We got this. Maybe I'll play with Mountain Board one day. You can get basic liquid soap. You can also get melts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Noodle knows about all that. <laughs> she watches people make soap all the time. I'm pretty sure she's looked up a lot of the shit about it. Like the, like the different types to get or whatever, I mean. I don't think she's looked up, like, the science of making soap. Although maybe she has. Noodle, have you looked up the, uh, the science of how soap works? Um, basically it's just you mix a strong base with, with fat. And, uh, it creates a, what is it, polysaccharide or whatever? That, uh, binds to both water and fat. And, uh, that helps you wash shit off your hands. Basically, like... There you are. There's your science lesson for the day. Uh, something like that. It's probably not a polysaccharide. I don't remember the, <laughs> the thing that it makes. But anyways. You were typing the melt as you sent it. You have a fascination with soap making and candle making for the longest time. I think candle making is dope as hell. I had a uh, candle making kit when I was a kid. It was a lot of fun, honestly. Would suggest. It's a great project for, for adults and kids alike, man. Right? All you need is like a uh, toaster oven or or, or a uh, double boiler, something like that, that you can melt the waxes in. And then whatever type of molds or whatever you want to use. Hey, thank you for the five bits, Noodle. I appreciate it, love. I can't believe we're still on this same level. It has been like 20 minutes, man. And we're still trying to get through this one freaking level, like... There was a sudden big increase in difficulty here. Like, <laughs> and to make matters worse, we're like about to die. We need to find some uh, band-aids here somewhere. Hey, Noodle, do we have like Rugrats band-aids or something that I could use real quick? There's one, actually. It's a little bit of health. At least we're not going to die from like one Angelica box. There's a candle at the local antique shop you really like and stream hates it. Are you talking about... It's a giant cat, right? Like, this candle is like a two-foot-tall cat made out of wax with a wick going through it. And it's not that I hate it. I just said that if we get a candle, we're going to burn it, right? So, like, you can get your cat candle, but I'm going to light it on fire one of these days. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> the point of candles is burning them. If you want a cat statue, just buy a cat statue. Bruh! What the fuck? Where do we go? If we can't jump to either one of those platforms, then I don't know where the hell we're jumping to. Gotcha. Yeah, good job, Tommy. You got it. No, you're not allowed. Then why buy a giant cat candle? That's the point. To burn it. It's a candle. Because it looks cool? Sure. Sure, I guess. It's not even like a, a pretty candle, though. Like, it's pretty because it's a cat, but it's just a plain white wax candle. It's not like a... Uh, like one with a fancy design or anything on it, right? Look, am I not supposed to go this way? Like... It's a tan color? Plain white, tan, whatever. Close enough. Oh, buh. Buh, buh, buh. That jump was way harder than it had any right to be. Oh, really? You're just going to tell me to go up? Oh, thanks, game. I appreciate you. And molded into a cat. Well, yeah, no, I, I know it's molded into the shape of a cat, but, like, still, it's just a regular candle. A white one, or tan, whatever. Okay, game. I literally cannot jump that high. What the hell? Why, uh, why did it break? We landed on the ground and my papaya broke. I am devastated. Also, I forgot to pick up the fucking papaya. Holy hell. I'm going crazy over here. It has highlights and shadows, does it really? I honestly don't remember seeing those. I'm sure you're right. You've spent more time looking at it than me, but I don't remember seeing highlights and shit on it. I just remember seeing the uh, general shape of a cat with a off-white color. <laughs> Oh, dude, that jump should not be that hard. This is a children's game. I just want to remind everybody, this is a fucking Rugrats game. Why is it hard? And, like, these jumps and shit, they're not going to be any easier on the, the easy mode, right? Like, they're not going to change the entire course. 
between baby mode and freaking hard mode. Would they? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they would, but it doesn't sound like something you would do. That'd be so much extra work. I would think the easy mode would just make, like, you lose less health or maybe have infinite health or whatever. I still, I like, I legit have no idea what to do here. Like, it looks like it's trying to tell us to go up there. But, like, bruh. See what happens? Like, nope. Susie, I swear, you're cool. You're probably the next best character. Next to Tommy. Although, I don't know. Chucky's up there, too. Honestly, there's a lot of great characters on the show. But, Susie, you're getting on my nerves, girl. <laughs> uh. Now, instead of just watching us and playing with us like some sort of god, you could uh come down and help us. Like, that's an option. You know? Why did I get up there so easy when I'm not carrying the stupid papaya? Did we just die? We just died. Holy hell. Oh, wait, no, we're still alive. We're still alive. Okay. Uh. Well. <laughs> I was going to say we could go look for a Band-Aid. But honestly, if we go look for a Band-Aid, I don't know if I'll ever find my way back. So, we're just going to go get the papaya and try to make it to the end without falling again. Because if we fall one more time, we're dead. Like, that's, that's it. It's GG. Now, we will uh, grab somebody else. I don't know. Maybe, uh. Maybe Kimmy. We'll grab Kimmy or something, and then we'll uh, come back up here and try that one last game, mini game that we haven't tried. I can't help but wonder if this is all of it. Like, is the entire game just those three, or sorry, six mini games? I imagine there's got to be more to it after beating that, right? But I don't know. There was a lot of shovelware on the PS2. So, I don't know if there would be or not. What I really don't understand is why they decided to make the hardest jump in the game <laughs> right there. Thank you for taking me back, Susie. Maybe you could, like, I don't know, give me an indicator on an easier jump or something. Because the one you're telling me to do is impossible. You can do it. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support. I feel like we're supposed to be going over there and, like, going, like, the long way around or something. But, like, that jump's hard, too. They're both just hard. You freaking piece of shit. Motherfucker. I swear to God. We're trying, like, three more times, and then I'm leaving this area. I don't care. I will jump off a cliff. I will off myself as this character. Not in real life, guys. I don't need any more messages from YouTube. Questioning my mental health. It sucks. I promise. But that's not the point. <laughs> yep. Tommy. Pickles. I swear. To you. And all that is holy. If you don't make this freaking jump. You'll never see. <laughs> you'll never see this forest again. That got so dark. <laughs> nah. Nah. We don't get dark around here. I'm just going to skip that last jump and just go straight over here. Like, why Why even go to that last platform then? Alright. And the worst part is we still need one more papaya after this. Like, oh, oh boy. Okay. What is that monkey doing? Why did it just teleport me twice too? Broken game. Last try, guys. Last try. Fingers crossed. Focusing. I gotta shut up for a minute so I can focus on... Not... Freaking... Falling. You piece of shit! Okay. Yep, we're done. Uh, quit level. Yeah. What's Susie's rules? Hold on, what's this? Oh, that just has her repeat what she said at the beginning of the level. Yeah, I don't care. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Bruh. That was rough. That's rough, man.
This is a kid's game. How long? HLTB Rugrats Royal Ransom. Royal Ransom. Five hours. It's a five hour game, apparently. Trash. <laughs> All right, let's switch to Kimmy. Why can't I switch to Kimmy? Switch. Switch. It. Nope, not you. Kimmy. Let's go. All right, last game mode. Maybe we can beat one of the game modes in this new area over here. Like, holy shit, dude. Monkey, what was that? Monkey business? Monkey, monkey buns? I don't know what it said. I don't know if I've said, I meant to say. I don't know if I've actually have said it yet. I love Strawberry Clear American. You can buy it at Walmart. It's delicious. It's sugar-free. It tastes good. It's fizzy. But what I've been doing lately that is so good is taking that, right, and putting fucking lemonade drink mix in it, right? Like, whether it's... Wait, what are we doing anyway? I didn't listen to Susie at all. Where, Where's the banana? Wait, are we chasing you? What are we doing, game? Anyways, putting lemonade mix into it to make it like a strawberry lemonade thing. Ah, it is good. Oh, wait, the banana count counter went down one. Does that mean... Does that mean we win? What happened? I feel like this is supposed to be another one like, uh... Like the... Uh... Like the papaya one that we were just doing where, like, we're meant to... Be carrying something or something, but, like... Are we supposed to be like, oh, oh, we can throw bananas. Did we put bananas in traps or like, oh, Angelica, you suck. Just monkeys stop running around so damn much. Hold on. We're supposed to be doing something. I don't really understand it though. Probably should have listened to Angelica when she was telling us what to do. You'll never hear me say that again. Susie. I meant Susie, though. Like, <laughs> definitely do not listen to Angelica. You can use bananas to slow down monkeys. Okay, yeah. So, I think we're supposed to chase them into the traps or something, man. I don't know. Honestly, like, I think we're done with this game. <laughs> it's not, like, the worst game or anything like that. But, like... I think playing an hour, hour and a half of it, whatever we played. Yeah, yeah, just over an hour and a half. I think that's enough, right? Like, <laughs> I think that's all of Rugrats Royal Ransom 1 needs in their life, man. Any more than that, and it just gets to be a, uh, gets to be a bit much, maybe. But anyways, I appreciate you all being here, Nate. I appreciate you, man. Noodle, I may, uh, I appreciate you, um, coming out and hanging out with me. But uh, I think we're done with this game. We'll, we'll, we can still chill and talk for a minute or whatever. But like, I don't know. Maybe don't go for the hardest difficulty. Well, here's the thing though. Like, I don't think the the difficulty would make any difference in the... Uh, now, like, I could be wrong. But I don't think the difficulty would make any difference in the, the, the platforming stuff, right? Like... Because it's not like they're going to rebuild the entire level for the uh platforming sections or whatever you know what i mean like i mean i don't know maybe they would maybe i'm just stupid but like <laughs> like i wouldn't think they would at least so like the platforming shit's gonna be rough either way i don't know you just found the picture of the candle with beautiful you're beautiful that's what i think <laughs> <laughs> oh god come on man i remember playing this game a lot whenever i was younger and i had a code breaker for my ps2 anyways though if that's all y'all gotta say that's all i got for tonight man 
I don't think I have anything else to say about uh, Rugrats, but like, do you need to see it to refresh your memory? I mean, you can post it in the Discord or whatever if you want, but uh, I don't think I need to see it to refresh my memory. That was aggressively positive. <laughs> oh God. Have a good night, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Goodbye. Thank you for being here. I'll see you again uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday to do whatever game we get to play on Thursday. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all.